I guess, uh, all right, we're, we're getting into news here. This is the news section of the podcast. This is the news section. Uh, I guess, uh, I guess. Uh, of the podcast. Epic seems to it think, Epic Games, maker of Fortnite, seem to think that we live in a dystopia based on their current marketing blitz <laughs> oh boy. against Apple. Uh, they got the dystopia wrong. Yeah. They're like, we do, but that's not it. <laughs> Yes, you're, <laughs> yes, the 30% cut Apple is taking of your V-Bucks sales maybe not the most pressing issue at the moment. Uh, God, let me make sure I... Correct me if I'm wrong. I hope I've got this sequence of events in order here. Uh, was it Thursday, I think, this started? That Epic essentially put V-Bucks on sale on iOS at the same time that they also rolled out their own internal payment processing system for V-Bucks. Is that correct? Yeah, they basically created a system in iOS where it would show you the full price, regular price for V-Bucks and then have a lower price below it that says, like, through the Epic account system, you oh, can God. pay this much. Were they literally side by side in the yes. game? Oh, oh yeah. Shit. And it was, like, really quite literally just giving the consumer the option of, like, you can pay this much or this much? Yep. Wow. Huh. Yeah, so that happened, and then... It was funny, like, going back and looking at these news stories as a wrap-up for this podcast and, like, comparing the timestamps on the articles from that day. Because mm -hmm. uh, the first one, when that stuff rolled out, was, like, 9-something in the morning, and by, like, 2.30-ish, Apple had pulled Fortnite off the App Store entirely. And then something like an hour to 90 minutes after that, Epic <laughs> had filed its antitrust lawsuit against Apple. Yeah, it was, it was pretty much a boom, 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 like, you know this is exactly what Epic knew was going to happen and they were ready for it. They had a marketing campaign and an in-game event all prepped to go as soon as Apple did what Apple would do uh, by pulling the game uh, off of the App Store. If you already have it in your account or already had it on your phone, you could still play it and launch it and all the other stuff. Um, but yeah, they they uh, they did it. Google would, would eventually follow uh, not long afterwards um, by pulling it out. And... Uh, yeah, and so this is Epic trying to jump on a lot of the antitrust stuff that is swirling around Apple uh, right now. Yeah, um, in the EU primarily. In the EU, right? and there were some here, but the, you know the, the kind of increased scrutiny that then Apple just kind of like said like, "No, nah, man, not us." Um, here, but the the EU stuff I think is still in the in the making. I'm not sure. Um, and so basically, like, they forced this event and then capitalized on said event. Like, they're like, we're going to do this, and then Apple's going to do this, and then we're going to file this lawsuit and run this sick parody of Apple's yeah. 1984 ad oh for all the God. extremely old people that are playing Fortnite. Um, right. Yeah. And remember this old ass Super Bowl ad. Um, it was a Super Bowl ad. Or anyway, yes, what, yes, yeah. It was a Super Bowl yeah. Ad. So Grant, granted, one of the most, like one of the most famous commercials in history, but I, yeah, I, I, um, call me call me petty, but this is the, that trailer that they rolled out was kind of the point where like they started losing me a little bit. Like I, I don't, I don't, I don't think they necessarily helped their case with the, the way that they prepared this marketing blitz. And mm -hmm. well, I think they're being shitty about it. I think I think they're like it, it's a it both can be right, right? It's like okay, this is a lawsuit that probably makes sense. Like we probably do need to be kicking the tires on. Apple forcing their 30% cut and and blocking people from setting up their own payment processors and all this other stuff. Like, you know, th that probably does need to be heard one way or the other. Um, but also, Epic didn't necessarily need to, like, try to publicly paint this as, like, Apple took your game away. Apple did this. I was like, no, you did this. Like, you knew the rules. You had a lawsuit ready to go because <laughs> you knew what Apple would do to then try to say, like, hashtag free Fortnite. And it's like, no, nah, fuck you. Like, yeah, that's like all you had a lawsuit Apple. ready to go and a, like, a fucking web movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. And some hot machinima, which is hilarious. Right. Don't get me wrong. You know, like, like all the, the idea that, like, we're producing machinima to fucking announce a lawsuit. But all, all the language that Apple has used in response has been around stuff like breach of contract, you know, like they're pretty yeah. clear, like, hey, like, you you know, like them or not, you agreed to our terms and then you broke them. Yeah, exactly. And and the terms are are not great. And, and, you know, I think there are a lot of smaller developers who would certainly benefit from Epic taking this action if it, yeah. if it goes that way. Um, and and I think that there's a, a real fight there. There's a real conversation to be had about uh about these practices yeah. and to be across fair, the board. Like, like Epic is, Google, Epic is yeah. one of the few companies big enough to actually force this issue, right? Like, obviously, like, the little guy 
making games on the App Store has next to no leverage in this situation, right? Like, exactly. It would take somebody uh, like an Epic to start this fight. And this is Tim Sweeney's fight from way back. This yeah. was, you know, this is the same Tim Sweeney that was like, wait, Windows is bundling in an App Store? The world is over. We need to, you need to stop this right now. Like he was, he was out there writing open letters years ago when, when Microsoft was ready to start selling apps. Um, and, and so that's been his, his drum to beat for years. And I think it makes a lot of sense, but like also like, you know, I, yeah, I think the way they've handled this just seems like kind of a little dumb, a little gross. And so yeah. it, the, like it, it becomes a lot easier with the way that they have handled this. It, it becomes a lot easier to look at this as just like, oh, billionaire slap fight, fucking whatever. Yeah. Um, but for smaller devs and all this other stuff that are getting, I mean, I mean, hey, you know, like we we have had to have very specific features not in apps on some app stores because of you know, the way that we sell premium memberships and all this other stuff. And, you know, if you were to advertise that fact a little more clearly in some of the apps, it would be a better app experience, but then there would be a cut of that money that would be too much for us to, to give up. Um, so like, you know, we are in the middle of that to a, to some extent. Uh, I mean, and Epic has shown itself as being a very ambitious company. Like it is, it went for steam in a huge way. And, like I don't think they beat Steam or whatever, but they no. made out fairly well for themselves. Yeah, totally, and they, they didn't go after Steam per se. They just said we're going to offer an alternative, and so that, I think right. that's where they're coming out as like, well, we offered an alternative. We created our own payment processor, and yeah. and we we decided we could do it better. And Apple said no. It's like, well, yeah, you knew that. You knew that. Like, yes. don't. But there, you know, this is all well timed around the the kind of increased scrutiny of Apple uh, and and Google. I think to a certain extent, the Google Play Store did the same thing. And we just saw this with Microsoft and the way they handled um, xCloud on various Android devices, where the version that's going up in the Google Play Store is very buttoned up. It's like, hey, if you remember, you can play these games. And then the version where they cut a deal with Samsung. So the version that's up in the Samsung App Store, because Android, um, that will have the ability to purchase in-game items. Or you know, if, if there's other DLC for these games that you're playing, uh, you'll be able to purchase it directly from your phone. Uh, and so, you know, everyone's come up with different ways around that stuff. I mean, you got to go download the beta version of the Roku app for fucking Christ's sake. You know, it's like, the, yeah, this is the, this is an ongoing fight that a lot of um, people providing apps on these various closed app stores across set top boxes and phones and all this other stuff have been have been dealing with for a very long time. And I will be interested to see them positioned. I feel like every time, correct me if I'm wrong, if you know, but like, I feel like every time someone tries to point at Apple and say, you're a monopoly, they just point to like global uh, uh, phone stuff and just go like, Android's kicking our ass. Yeah. And Android like, we're been, not the only game in town by a long shot. Android has been like massively in the lead for quite a while is my understanding. Yeah. And, and I, you know, I don't think it's Apple's game necessarily to be like the number one phone in, in the world uh, or the number one phone OS in the world uh, per se. Uh, their phones are expensive as hell and, and all this other stuff. But, you know, but that's generally been the thing they've pointed to that I think has gotten them out of a lot of uh, they've been able to wiggle out of a lot of this stuff by just pointing it just like the the overall distribution of phones around the world uh, and just say, Android is so much bigger than Apple. Um, so I don't, I don't know if this will work, if that'll work this time, because I think it's a slightly different playing field um, and all that stuff. So I, I, yeah, I'll be interested to see how it goes. Um, and there are probably a lot of developers that would benefit from a change like this. And also, like, this is where Apple makes its money. <laughs> so they are, you know, like the, the moves Apple made, like they, they also, like what did Apple notified Epic? Was that yesterday where they said, like, oh, by the way, um, we're going to revoke all your dev access yeah. and dev tools and stuff so people won't be able to use the Unreal Engine to make games for iOS yeah, they're, anymore. They're, they're pretty much going like nuclear option, right? They're like revoking, yeah. revoking pretty much the, all of their agreements with Epic to do anything. Yeah, um, which I don't know. I don't know what that, which then triggered another lawsuit, basically. Yeah. So um, so all that sort of stuff is, uh, is pretty, it's on. Yeah. As they I, say. I have come to understand, as this has been in the news, that Apple's uh, App Store revenue is on the order of like half a trillion dollars. Yeah. 
So, Something like that. of course, they're yeah. going to fucking fight this tooth and nail. I mean, wow. I, I have no idea what the overhead is of running a platform like this, especially at this scale, but 30% seems pretty damn high to me. Well, if you factor in, like, uh, it depends on where you go with it. Because I think, like, correct me, I feel like Epic said at some point the reason they didn't do this to Sony and Microsoft on the console stores was, like, well, they put a lot of money into R&D and all this other stuff, and so they've, you know, they've, but, like, Apple probably spends a lot of money researching and developing their phones. Oh, they definitely spend more and than And this is probably do. where they, the yeah, this is, is probably where they try to make it up. So if that's going to be their argument, I just don't think that makes a lot of sense. Um, but we'll see. Like yeah. I said, you know, I, I'm, I'm no fucking legal expert in any of this stuff. So what the hell do I know? But, but looking at it from the outside, looking in on this stuff, like I... I don't know. It's I think Epic presented its case to the public in like a really sneering childish way yeah, that yes. I think just makes them look petty and, and shitty. They, they when, when this is like this major, major issue. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is and, gross. Yeah. It, it's I, I don't think they've I don't think they handled that aspect of this uh super well. Um and I think trying to position this as Apple took your Fortnite away, yeah. I think is yes. nasty uh yes. and not true. Uh well technically true yeah um well, moreover but, like i am i am not the slightest bit sympathetic to a 17 billion dollar company that is no. trying a trying to portray itself as the little guy right now and b especially yeah. like leveraging fucking like totalitarian imagery to yeah. try to yeah. justify a bigger cut of billions of dollars in sales at a time like this like fuck off yeah I, and you know there, there was I, a I way to that, present your case in a way that really would have like kind of won the hearts and minds of the public i think a little better yeah uh, and now you, like, you hear that they're like, oh, they're looking to kind of build some form of coalition of other people that are in other companies that are in the same boat. And Spotify came out and expressed support, which like, yeah, Spotify, but they don't yeah, want to pay cool. that money either. I think the thing I said on Friday was like, yeah, Spotify is too busy not paying artists uh, <laughs> to, to do this. So, yeah, it's mm. yeah, it's uh sucks <laughs> but they, they have a, they have uh, a lot of people just... in positions there are a lot of smaller companies in positions mm -hmm. to uh to want this change but would never have the resources to fight this fight yeah. and so yes. on totally. that level it's good that someone's poking it to see yeah to see how it goes and yeah and they they have an argument i just it just doesn't i don't think they're making it especially well so far <laughs> yeah but they don't have to you know like they'll, they'll get their day in court and that's when the argument starts like yeah. none of this yeah. none yes. of this matters it just makes them look petty i think yeah 